How you doing today? My name is Matt Grady. I'm the Hoop Group Director of the Elite. And I want to show you a play of the week that we ran when I was at University of Louisville, University of Cincinnati, and Murray State that we took from the New, York, New Jersey Nets when Lawrence Frank was coaching. It's a set you can run out of uh, early offense, looking to push the ball in transition, or you can run it as a set play. We ran it as both op options. Really starting in a 1-4 with your 2-3 and three really running high and wide. You want your five-man sprinting rim to rim, trying to post in the three-second lane. When the one-man crosses half court, when he's racing the ball down their throats, really look to throw the ball inside. You can get a lot of quick post-ups, six to eight points a game. We would try to get for our big guys, throwing the ball inside at an early offense, getting them to post in the three-second lane. Very important that you get that. The initial action, as soon as one man goes, if he doesn't look to throw it inside or advance it to the two-man to go inside quickly, it'll be a one-to-two dribble handoff. As that happens, as that one-two dribble handoff is occurring, the three-man will race down and set his man up, and the four will sprint into a wide down screen, setting that at the first marker. Five-man will follow the ball if he doesn't if doesn't get it initially. As the two-man comes off, three is trying to catch the ball on the three-point line using that screen. Throw it two to three on that as he catches the ball. So then your alignment four man will set that screen. After the four sets it, he will lift out. So you're in that four out, one in, give the five man always have space to post up. Two to three will be the pass. Five man will sprint into a UCLA back screen. Two man will go hard for the lob. As soon as that happens, X5 will really look to help. And the three man will ball fake, even if two is not open, to get X5 to bite on that back screen. And then five will sprint into a pick and roll, not letting the, th the three man's man, X3, slide under. That's very, very important. People will try to slide under the screen knowing that X5 is going to be late helping on it. So then, you're, then, you're, then you will initially, two man will go, and you'll look like this. Three man will try to come off and turn the corner, obviously, dragging that five man who will be late. Five must set a great pick and roll screen, not letting him slide under the screen. Five will roll extremely hard to the front of the rim. Now, as that's happening, two man must have gotten out. He goes for the lob and gets out, so his man can't help on the roll. And then X4 will lift high. One man will spot up and look to space to the corner if three looks to, if three looks to turn the corner. So what you'll get is it's a really good play also because X2 and X4 will look to help on that pick and roll. So you have a four man that can shoot. It really, really makes it a hard play to defend. At the ending of the play, you'll look to throw the ball inside. If you don't have the three man turn in the corner, five man on the roll, or thrown to the one man strong side. That's probably one of your last options. You really want to get the ball reversed and throw it so you can throw the ball inside. So the ending play, you'll look to throw it three, four will be here, two will be high and wide, five man will roll, try to post deep. Now after, X5 is recovering on the pick and roll defense, he will recover on the high side. So this will be a tough pass to throw the ball in there. So you look to throw three to four, and as the X5 recovers, five man will look to pin and seal to throw the ball in high to low. If you can't throw it there, just reverse it quickly to the two man, who may have a shot if X2 is helping here defensively. As it goes here, when X2 closes out, you may have a drive or throw the ball into the corner of the board, away from the defense who's on the top side, and you'll get a layup. That's our Hoop Group Play of the Week. Thanks for tuning in. Check us out at www.hoopgroup.com, and there'll be more to come next week.